Streaming now, this is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good afternoon, everyone. Philip Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk. Hope you're having a great Cyber Monday so far, and there's still time to take advantage of plenty of deals going on. Uh, Jacob Palmer with Best Reviews is here once again. He was here on Black Friday. Uh, ex excuse me, he was back on Wednesday to talk about Black Friday, and now he's here to talk about Cyber Monday and all the deals going on, some of the things to really look out for, and also some of the things to avoid. Jacob, great to see you once again, hopping right into it. Uh, hope that Black Friday treated you guys over at Best Reviews well. Hopefully it wasn't too stressful, uh, but kind of just talk about what it was like seeing everything, what really jumped out to you about the uh, first part of the uh, holiday uh, shopping spree, I guess. Well, first of all, we love it. You know, this is our Super Bowl, so uh, we are very much on, uh, and this is what we build our entire year for. So, you know, no worries there in terms of getting tired. Uh, we're just getting started, really. Um, but it, it, so for how uh, Black Friday went, you know, it was the biggest Black Friday that we've seen so far because we're an e-commerce company. We have eyes on online shopping as opposed to, you know, more brick and mortar operations. And so it was huge. Uh, what's happening is, is that there were more sales online than in the past. than there were, you know, for the door busters and the things that made Black Friday super popular and a household name. So, uh, you know, in terms of that, it was great. And I, I think the consumer experience is getting better in that way too, because they're already starting to see these packages show up on their doorsteps, uh, which takes, you know, a lot of the guesswork out of it. And again, you know, the reason that people will love the doorbusters is they were coming home with their own products and people were a little bit more hesitant in the earlier days of online shopping to move their Black Friday shopping there because they weren't sure, you know, what's going to happen. There was two factors that led to it being a lot smoother this year. Number one, Thanksgiving was really early. So, you know, you could get a lot of your presents, uh, a lot of your gifts that you're buying for folks on your doorstep even before December hits. Uh, and then number two is just how comfortable people are getting with online shopping and the retailers are responding in certain ways to entice them and make sure that they do shop online, you know, with, with prices that are a little bit better online in some cases or and definitely compete across the board. Mm -hmm. Right now, it did kind of uh, make for a smooth transition into Cyber Monday, which is where I kind of want to go now, Jacob. Um, as I mentioned, there's only a little bit of time left, a couple hours for a lot of people here in West Michigan uh, for them to really take advantage of the deal. So we want to give them a lot of tips. What are some things starting off yeah. uh, that they should kind of avoid, either it's items or uh, certain businesses, things for them to not really waste the time, the precious time that they have left to find those great deals for holiday shopping and uh, really just kind of stay away from those? Yeah, and it's the right time to talk about this because, you know, we've been talking about the holiday shopping period and about how it's getting longer, how it's getting pulled forward. But the reality of the matter is a lot of people still wait till the second half of the day for Cyber Monday uh, to shop these deals. So if that's you, you're not alone. That's the first thing to know. Um, and so the thing to avoid when you're looking at the remaining Cyber Monday deals is if you're looking out across the landscape, if you're looking out at the shopping uh, uh, landscape right now, you know, it's going to kind of feel like a store that's been picked over. You know, on Black Friday, there's a little bit of everything. The proverbial shelves are packed. Uh, right now, you know, you got to be able to look a little bit better. You got to know what the hidden gems are. So the thing to avoid is, is just going directly to a shopping site and just clicking through to different cyber deals, uh, different Cyber Monday deals. Because like I said, you know, you don't know what's left and if it's really worth jumping at. I know you've been linking to uh, some of the best reviews content that lives on uh, the Wood website. So keep checking out that because we are updating those constantly throughout the day with items that we've tested, with items that we've vetted and researched uh, to make sure that you're not just picking any old thing. So uh, that's the number one thing is don't go there uh, to one of these, you know, e-commerce giants that has every single thing for sale and expect just because it's got that Cyber Monday tag next to the name that it's going to be a, uh, an awesome product you got to be able to have a little bit of that foresight a little bit of that uh you know research and like i said at the top of the segment here you know this is our super bowl we've been doing it year round making sure that we know when this day arrives what's worth talking about and what isn't mm -hmm. right now all great points and yeah thank you for the plug jacob of course you can find all of best reviews content right now over on our website woodtv.com we've got a couple linked if you're watching us on facebook in the comment section uh, down below. But Jacob, kind of on the flip side of the things to avoid, what are some things that you would encourage people to really check out? Some of the things that are still on sale, really great discounts, or even just tips in general for them to really kind of use to make sure that this Cyber Monday is, is a successful one. 
Yeah, you know, there's been a lot of things come and go, like I said, but there's also a lot of really great deals remaining. Uh, the one thing that I would say is tick off all of those different things on your shopping list for December, because I, I said it on Wednesday, I'll say it again now, Today is the last call for the big savings, for the 20, 30, 40% off savings. So after this, you're gonna have to be paying full price. So really rack your brain. Not only all of the people that I need to shop for and who's on my holiday shopping list, that's easy. But think about you know what's going on with your office holiday party. Are you guys doing a Secret Santa this year? Are you doing White Elephant? There's a lot of great options for those kinds of parties going. The other thing to, to tick off right now is stocking stuffers. There's a lot of great deals for that 40, you know, $20 off in that price range right now that are going to blow back up to, you know, when they're at full price, they're going to be $50, $70. So you're going to want to be looking for those things, you know, think about the big ticket items that you're going to get your loved ones, but also think about those small things that make the holidays special, whether it's for your office mates, uh, you know, for the stocking stuffer, for all those different parties you're going to be attending, whether it's the neighborhood get together or whatever it's going to be. Make sure that you're thinking about all of those different things, because this is going to be the last call for savings. Now, the last thing I'll say there in terms of this last call for savings idea is that there's also everyday essentials that, uh, you know, whether you're buying it for your family or for yourself, also consider that. One of the really bit popular things that we're seeing go for sale right now, for example, are a whole line of space heaters. You can get the Dyson space heater. That's the top of the line. It's got that brand name that you're going to be paying for that brand name for. That's one that's still marked down right now. But then you're also getting great options from companies like Lasco, which just makes really solid home appliances. Appliances, uh, and that's another great option to check out, you know, if you're trying to think about how am I going to save. So think about the near term in terms of your loved ones and those holiday parties. Uh, but then also think about it's a long winter ahead of us, especially in Western Michigan. Uh, you know, you want to make sure that your garage is nice and heated if you're going to spend time out there. Uh, and then otherwise, you know, if you want to save on that heating bill, it's great to have those space heaters. So think about the winter as well, because there's a lot of seasonal deals that are going to go away. And frankly, once they go away after Cyber Monday, Monday, they're going to get even more expensive uh, because, you know, it'll now be the prime time for people looking for those things. So the retailers won't be as motivated to roll out discounts on those items like space heaters, blankets, different things that are great for winter. Mm -hmm. and Jacob, I know you're out in California, but you could not have picked a better time, more appropriate time to really mention those space heaters. We're expected to get quite a bit of snow over the next couple of days. So definitely would uh, recommend people checking those out, you know, coats, yeah. blankets, even just the basic necessities, really. I only live in California now. I grew up in Michigan, so yeah, I, I know, know the store very well yeah, here. So I, 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 time I get time. I get plenty of updates from my mom about what's going on in terms of uh, you know the weather there in the right. mountains. Yeah, just seeing everything that we've been kind of dealing with over the past couple of days as well. So definitely a lot of great tips there. Uh, Jacob, kind of wanted to move into a different topic. We mentioned it a little bit when you were last here on Wednesday, uh, the, the topic of gift guides. Kind of explain those a little bit for people that maybe missed that conversation and just talk about, you know, what you guys over at Best Reviews are really kind of focusing on with those. Yeah, and this is another thing that when we're in that testing lab and we're looking at different products and trying to decide, is it something that we would recommend, we kind of put that little extra layer on it of would we recommend this to a loved one? Would we want this under the tree when that day comes around? And so, yeah, we've got a lot of gifts here that we'd love to recommend. And I've got a, a, some in front of me here that are marked down right now. And, you know, I was just talking about my mom over, over there in Michigan. Uh, and one thing that I got her last year that was a, a runaway hit, especially as my uh, daughter was, was less than a year old and she wanted all the photos she could get, is the Aura Carver smart frame. And so what these are is they're a digital frame that you can set up in a loved one's house. And then from your phone, uh, you can send photos directly to it and then it displays wherever they have it. So super easy to set up. Super, uh, you know, uh, you know, not complicated in terms of the tech uh, learning curve on it. You know, you just set it up. It doesn't require some kind of tech whiz to be able to manage it. And then, you know, the, anyone can then get access to that frame from the app and then upload photos directly to it. That's a great one right now. Right now we're seeing it for less than $140 on Amazon. That's a great one to start. Uh, the next one, and I know, you know, we just talked about how, uh, cold it is in Western Michigan, but this was probably one of the biggest trending uh, products of the summer. It's the Ninja Creamy. And that's a way to make your own ice cream, your own milkshakes, your own sorbet, gelato, the whole nine. Uh, this one, it was never marked down during the summer because it was so popular, so trendy on TikTok and different social media sites that we were pretty excited to see that they were starting to mark it down. And that's 22% off right now. That's another great one to check out. 
Uh, and then finally, you know, this is one that everybody's been talking about. I think, you know, you see it on all of your different social media sites, the Stanley line of products right now, whether it's the water bottle, uh, whether it's, you know, a different quencher or a coffee mug, those are marked down across the board on uh, the, the Amazon website as well. So the one that we like and we recommend to folks is great for the campers, those outdoorsy types. It's the perfect brew pour over set and it comes with a camp mug that's pre-fit to it. So it's basically, it drips down uh, your coffee in the morning. And, you know, for those outdoorsy folks, they like to be outside, but they still need their morning Joe. Uh, and so that's a great one right now that we're seeing for less than 35 bucks and it's 25% off. So there's a lot of good options out there that are thoughtful, you know, meet people where they are with what their interests are and are marked down that 20, 30% off, which at Best Reviews, that's basically what we're looking at, especially when you're getting those more expensive items. That's kind of the threshold that we're looking at to make it a really great deal because, you know, when you're spending hundreds of dollars you save 10, 20, 30%. It's going to make a pretty big dent in the cost at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, you mentioned a bunch of stuff that is already on uh, a bunch of the Christmas list for people that I got to buy for. So definitely highly recommend checking out those gift guides. They're super duper helpful, let you know everything you need, and really allows you to kind of uh, shop comfortably, especially for all the holiday shopping, uh, especially during this season. And Jacob, kind of wrapping up, you know, um, we talked about it, you mentioned it, that Thanksgiving was a little bit earlier. Um, these deals, a lot of them, a lot of places were offering them all week long, really. They say Black Friday, but they were starting on Monday and Tuesday. Um, with stuff like this, I mean, is it helping or hurting uh, consumers and businesses? I mean, did, what kind of role do these extended holiday uh, sales kind of have on both the businesses making them and then also the consumers buying from them? Well, the short answer is it's helping the consumer because of what I was saying at the top of the segment. The prices are either better or the same online as what you're seeing in store. And then when you factor in the price of gas right now, that alone means that the consumer is coming out ahead. And because they've gotten better at fulfillment because of how early Thanksgiving is, like you mentioned, it's going to get there in time. So there's not that stress of will this arrive in time, which I think is usually one of the main factors in terms of people, whether they're deciding to go to those brick and mortar stores or shopping online. So for the consumer, it's definitely better now you know there's always a cost there's always you know with any upside there's going to be some kind of downside and where we're seeing that is for the folks those businesses that rely on the foot traffic you know those coffee shops uh the, the smaller businesses so we do recommend that you know after cyber monday you get into these other shopping days especially more into december where you can find great deals at different small businesses in your area and we definitely recommend checking those out and a lot of different communities depending on uh you know the business community will roll out days where all of the small businesses in town will uh have different discounts and so you'll want to look out for that in your own area because that is something that's worth checking out so you know it's better for the consumer when you're buying and you're considering going to you know a walmart or shopping on walmart.com we always recommend going to walmart.com because at the end of the day you're going to be able to uh you know save on that gas save on that stress not have to figure out child care all of those different things um but when it comes to, you know, those brick and mortar shops, those smaller businesses, those are the ones, you know, the coffee shops and things like that. You want to make a concerted effort to, you know, still give them your patronage, still make sure that you're supporting them with, uh, you know, opening up your wall because they matter to the community so much. And, you know, there is a lot of savings you can do, but you can also think, you know, locally, think about how you can support your community because it is really important at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And we just wrapped up Small Business Saturday, and uh, we here at News 8 actually did a lot of coverage on a lot of different small businesses that highly encourage everybody checking out. If you're still looking for maybe something to, else to get for somebody special this holiday season, we've got a ton of that over on our website, woodtv.com. And that's also where you can find all of the latest information regarding Cyber Monday, upcoming holiday deals, everything you need to know to make sure you get your family and friends something great for the holiday season. Courtesy of Best Reviews, that is also on our website, woodtv.com. Jacob Palmer with Best Reviews, thank you so much for stopping by once again. We really do appreciate it. And who knows, we could be talking in just a little bit with more, uh, talk about some more deals. Thanks so much, Phil. I always appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. And I want to thank everybody else for tuning into this latest edition of the Wood TV Live Desk. I'm Phil Panarski, and we hope you have a great rest of your day.